everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got a pop from pop television line. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Today we're going to be checking out, you know it, Gumby. So, uh, the fantastic claymation character himself, Gumby. Now this is uh, the first one they've dropped with uh, from the Gumby television show. They do not have Pokey yet. Um, they do not have any... Uh, exclusives of Gumby yet or, or two pack with Gumby and Pokey they don't have any of that so um, we're gonna check him out right now 2019 pop but I did grab him in 2020 uh, we're gonna check him out of the box and see what we got going on here now again the back just has Gumby back here so I imagine the wave is probably gonna be consisting of him and Pokey and that's it uh, kind of like how Garfield didn't really have the um, a large wave on the back of that one either they didn't do like John or anything like that from the Garfield wave, so let's see what number Gumby is. He is number 46,581 Gumby Pop C1. There's that C1 again. So here is Gumby out of package. Now here it is. I have an actual Gumby that's about Gumby's size here. So this is an actual Gumby from Super Impulse. This is a miniature Gumby, uh, supposedly the world's smallest Gumby, which it is actually smaller than my Funko Gumby here, which is pretty cool. And the actual Gumby obviously stretches. He uh, stretches, I think, up to like 21 inches or something like that. But uh, that is Gumby right there. He doesn't he doesn't stand up too well. But this one does because he is a solid vinyl figure. And I figured I would at least do a little comparison here of a Gumby to likeness right here versus uh, the Gumbo from Funky, which or Gumby from Funko. Gumbo from Funky. <laughs> yeah, there you go. A little reverse order there. But they're pretty spot on in regards to the paint app. He's got the triangular nose, the banana mouth. He's got the bananas over the eyes. The only he doesn't have is the red pupils, but that's Funko. They don't do uh, pupils really on their pops, which is great. I believe the pupils get done on the vinyls and other ones that they do. But this is Gumby, and I think they did a really great job with him holding his hand up like he does the Gumby wave. And the head looks really cool. I think they did a good job with the head. They kind of made it like a, a separate unit, like a Funko. They Funkoized. They Funkoized Gumby. They made they turned Gumby to having a head, and then they made a head a little bit larger like that, if you would. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, they got the little Gumby wave right there, which is really cool. I think that's something that um, is a staple for Gumby and his stance, and I think it's a great first figure for the collection. I imagine they're going to be dropping Pokey here soon and probably – um, you know, two packs and probably some exclusives, maybe even a flocked Gumby, who knows? Um, the flocked Gumby, I believe is going to be neat because it, it'll take a little bit more of the shine off, but the shine makes it look more like clay. So I'd, it'd be interesting to see what they're going to do with the Gumby line, but needless to say, I definitely dig Gumby and I think it's a great pop. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the pops they're going to be dropping with this line. And, uh, yeah, if you are too, let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of Gumby? Is this a pop that you picked up? Is this a pop that you're collecting uh, in your collection? Do you collect pop television? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So be look out for that and have a great rest of your day.